Solid modelling in FeatureCam 2014 has been made faster and easier with the new ability to offset selected faces of a solid. Previously, FeatureCam could offset all the faces of a solid at once, but now the user can select individual or multiple faces to be offset, leaving the rest in place and producing a watertight solid model afterwards. This new feature item allows the user to simply enter the parameters for the offset and let FeatureCam do the rest. In this case you can see we've got a sump plate part and what we want to do is generate a, a cast model for this and just simply the machine the, uh, the areas that we have on the component. I haven't got a multi-axis uh, setup for this, I've just got simply a setup at the top and the setup at the bottom. If I do a 3D simulation you'll notice that our stock is a block in this case. I can go ahead and just do simulate of all those items on this face. I can switch to my setup number two, rotate round, and you see we've got a facing operation that follows around that shape like so. But This doesn't really give us a representation of what it looks like because we want to work from a casting. So we're going to use the solid modeling to generate the casting for us. So as I rotate round, the first thing I want to modify in this case is the angle of this face here. This face should be flush with these two here. I can use the draft function uh, under our manufacturing options and our solid toolbar. Note that I've put the, uh, put the solid toolbar in my interface just by simply selecting the solid option. This is a cost option, uh, so we license this separately as a different module within the feature cam suite. So I need to set a draft angle between these two. I can find out what that angle is just by simply measuring the angle between two lines. In this case I can create two lines there and check what the angle is between those two. In this case it's telling me it's two degrees. Let's remove those lines and go ahead and do a draft operation. So I'm going to select draft face I'm going to choose this face as my reference. I'm going to choose this face as the face I wish to draft and set a draft angle of 2 degrees. We can preview this going the wrong way. So let's just change that to a minus 2. Preview like so. Say so apply and OK. And that repairs and creates a single face with the same draft angle. Next thing I want to do, that's the modification to my part file itself, the next thing I want to do is generate a, st uh, a cast stock from this. So I'm going to create a copy of my solid, so I'm going to say copy, and then I'm going to paste this in my solid menu, just say paste. I'm going to take the original solid, I'm going to rename this, so I'm going to rename this one, i call this one sump plate, and then take my new solid and again rename this one and this one I'm going to call cast stock. We can also generate a new layer to separate these two out so let's create a new layer again calling this one cast stock and I'm going to move this just by dragging and dropping and turning off the original layer. So now that I've got my new model what I want to do is first of all start removing some of the detail. So first you'll notice all these holes will have to be machined. So we can go ahead and select these. So I'm going to do edit, select by colour or type, and I can choose anything that's a particular colour. So for example if I want everything that's green on the solid, I can say OK, and that will identify those regions. I can then again go to my manufacturing menu, this time use delete face, and say modify existing and heal remaining preview and apply to remove that detail. We can repeat this process. Now my edit by select, uh, selected colour or type I've put uh, a customised shortcut which in this case is Control shift t So I'm going to select one of the orange faces, Control shift t say OK, add those faces in, preview, apply and those are removed. We can also repeat for this purple region here, so again select Control shift t add those faces in, preview, apply, and OK. I've now removed the detail that I don't want. Next thing I need to do is I want to provide uh, uh, 
uh, some machining allowance for this uh, this slot here. So to do this, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the new offset tool. So the offset tool is under the shape modification menu. You'll notice the new icon here. It's not offset. Offset will do the whole solid. It's offset faces. I can select that, and then I can choose the faces that I wish to offset. I can either do a singular offset with a single face or multiple faces. I'm going to go ahead and select everything. That's this bluey green colour. Except that bottom face. I just add those in. I can now apply an offset distance. In this case, I'll do two millimeters. Preview, and you should notice that that slot has been made narrower. You can say apply, and OK, and you'll see we get the change in that slot. I can also use the offset on a single face. So, for example, I can select the bottom face here, add that in. And in this case, the depth of this feature is 2 millimeters. So if I did an offset distance of the same value and preview, say apply and OK, you'll notice it removes that feature completely. So the offset can be used in different ways to allow for different things on our part. Now that I've created those, you know, the casting as, as far as I want to, I just want to allow for some machining allowance in some of these areas. So in this case I'm going to go ahead and select this face region here and I'm going to add a machining pad to this. I'm going to use in this case our option to extrude a surface. I'm going to apply an add to this face and in this case I'm going to set a distance of 3 millimeters and a draft angle of 15 degrees. If I preview this in this case I just want to go to minus 3 and the draft angle is minus 15. Preview again and you should notice the taper that will clearly indicate to us the machining area. Say apply and there we get our machining pad like so. This can also be repeated for this area here as well. So again I'm going to go ahead and select this face instead. Preview and again we need to flip the direction so we're going to set this to be 3 preview and again look to the side just to double check that we have the correct draft angle. Let's go ahead and accept those. I've now got my cast stock with my machining pads like so. We can change the colour of this. Let's go ahead and select the solid. Into our colouring I'm going to say change selected. Make that the same colour as the stock. We can then go into our stock parameters, into the properties, and choose a user-defined cast stock. I can now activate my sump plate and hide the stock for the time being. And you should see we've got a nice representation of our stock material. I can then rerun through my simulation. Let's do a single step and just rotate to the front. We can see we've got our cast stock like so. I can play through the machining sequence just to check my part, rotate round and again switch into my second setup and just verifying that we get our facing operation around the part like so.